Hello and welcome everyone on a new exciting edition of Mantis Development Update for the community of Ethereum Classic. In this June edition, a new face is with us, Stevan Loja. He joined in the Mantis team as a developer relationships. Stevan is a known member of the Ethereum Classic and has been around since the very beginning of ETC. He has been mostly contributing to the ecosystem on the communications and community area and you will meet him in the video later. Uh, in this video, we will present to the community the following areas. Myself, David, I will give you highlights outside of the development work. Stevan will give more detailed insight on the development side of the project, on what we have been working over the last few weeks. And then Chris will make a demo of the Mantis client running against Open Zeppelin test suite for smart contracts. And in particular, he will show us the execution of the test for the RC20 standard. Without further ado, let's go. Since the last video update, we have released a new version of the Mantis client and wallet. This last release includes several bug fixes and improvements, putting special attention on the fast sync process. IUMHK has attended the last two core ETC meetings. The first one was related to an open community discussion around the Treasury proposal. As a next step, IOHK will be updating the draft proposal with the feedback received from the community and other ideas. We'll be publishing new content around it. The second core meeting was related to the implementation of Magneto hard fork. The changes proposed in that hard fork include a remediation of a known vulnerability risk for a denial of service attack to the ETC network. This is a known issue in the Ethereum that was already implemented in the Berlin hard fork last April. The plan is also to implement Magneto hard fork in Mantis and in the other clients as Corketh and Bezu. Mid-May, we had to restart back to the Genesis block, the ETC testnet. This was due to some work related to the possibility of a miner to be able to choose to board the phones instead of sending them to the treasury. We had to roll back that option, and in order to do that, we had to restart the whole Sagano testnet. That option was rejected by the community members during the ACP proposal discussion. And last but not least, Mantis teams keep growing, especially on the communication side, as Tim Richmond and Stevan Loja joined the Mantis team. Handing over to Stevan. Bye. Hello, everyone. I'm Stevan Loja, developer relations on the Mantis team, and I'm pleased to share with you what we've been working on. We've added initial support for KEKEK 256 proof of work mining since release 223 based on ECIP 1049. We've uh, made several fixes in the synchronization process by addressing some bugs that may have interrupted sync, and we also improved the logs for some for users. In an effort to uh, help Ethereum Classic developers, we're always testing Mantis with familiar frameworks and libraries such as, but not limited to, Truffle and Open Zeppelin. And Chris is actually going to demonstrate this to you shortly. We've added automation on the development branch, which will build and run the client on mainnet once a day on our infrastructure. This helps continuously test Mantis against mainnet to ensure things are working properly. We're solidifying the Ethereum test suite for Mantis, aiming for passing all tests. This suit allows a series of functional integration, performance, and security testing. While Mantis does have Kekek proof of work support, there's additional fixes needed to sync with the uh, Astro testnet. Aster is the official public ECIP 1049 testnet. We're working on large performance testing for Mantis, which will allow Mantis to be ran against different scenarios. And we're also working on including the Magneto hard fork changes, which may be expected in a later release. Uh, Magneto is the Ethereum classic hard fork expected in July of 2021, which is adding the Ethereum Berlin features. And finally, we're working on ETH64 protocol compatibility. Now, enough of me. Let's watch Chris test some ERC-20 smart, smart contracts with Mantis and open Zeppelin. Hi, I'm Chris, software test engineer from IOHK's Mantis team. Today, I'm going to show you how to run any of those standard smart contract tests offered by Open Zeppelin Constructs library. For this, first we need a running Mantis client. 
This Mantis client is synchronized with our test network Sagano. It runs on localhost standard RPC port 8546. First, we need to create mnemonics for hard hard to use. I already prepared a secret JSON.json file where the mnemonics go into. The standard configuration file for hard hard is hardhard.config.js. The lines I added to the standard file are this one, where we include the mnemonics, this one, when, where we define the connection to Mantis client, and this one to get decent test report back. Now we can run hard hot against any of the standard smart contracts offered by the Open Zeppelin Contracts Library. For this launch, we're gonna use the ERC20 smart contract. As we are running the tests against a real blockchain, these tests will progress really slowly in comparison to running tests against a blockchain only in memory. As you can see from this test report, all 74 tests are passing. Thank you, David, Chris, and everyone else tuning into this development update. Feel free to visit the Mantis GitHub project repo. Also, feel free to join our Discord, Reddit, Twitter communities. Those are great places for uh, collaboration support. And if you got any feedback, well, we'd love to hear it. Um, and the Mantis team is also hiring. So view that job board. If, if you see something that's fit for you or fit for someone else, uh, definitely spread the word. Take care.